Before we jump into the technical comparisons let's briefly cover what each of these distributions offers. Subuntu. This flavor of Ubuntu uses the XFCE desktop environment, known for being lightweight while providing a full-featured, visually appealing user experience. XFCE is often praised for its balance between efficiency and usability, with many customization options for those who prefer a polished look. Lubuntu Lubuntu, on the other hand, uses the LXQT desktop environment. LXQT is one of the lightest Linux desktops available and is designed to run on very low-spec machines, making Lubuntu a popular choice for users who prioritize minimal resource usage above all. The primary difference between Subuntu and Lubuntu is the desktop environment, XFCE and LXQT respectively. The desktop environment determines not only the visual appearance but also the system requirements, resource consumption and of course, RAM usage. XFCE, Subuntu. XFCE is a lightweight yet complete desktop environment with many customizable features. While it may not be as lightweight as LXQT, XFCE provides a traditional desktop experience with the panel, menu, window decorations, and a file manager, all optimized for performance. XFCE includes more eye candy and visual effects than LXQT, which may consume a bit more RAM, but it's still significantly lighter than environments like GNOME or KDE, LXQT, Lubuntu, LXQT is ultra-lightweight and designed for maximum efficiency. It's a successor to LXDE Lightweight X11 desktop environment, specifically designed to use minimal resources. LXQT's interface is more minimalistic and basic, which makes it an ideal choice for low-RAM, low-CPU devices. Since it's focused on efficiency, you may find fewer customization options and less visual polish than XFCE, but it excels in providing a quick responsive experience on older or limited hardware. Initial RAM usage. Subuntu. After booting up, a fresh installation of Subuntu typically uses around 400 to 500 megabytes of RAM. This is higher than what you would see with Lubuntu but still within the range of a lightweight OS. Lubuntu. A fresh Lubuntu installation on the other hand, tends to use around 300 to 400 megabytes of RAM. This lower RAM usage makes Lubuntu a better option for very old machines or systems with less than 2 gigabytes of RAM. RAM usage during typical activities. To get a practical sense of how each distribution handles RAM usage, let's look at some everyday scenarios. Web browsing, with two to three tabs open in Firefox or Chromium. Subuntu, when opening a few tabs in a web browser, RAM usage can climb to around one to one and a half gigabytes. XFCE's visual elements may add a slight overhead, but it remains responsive and smooth. Lubuntu Lubuntu, on the other hand, might show RAM usage closer to 800 megabytes to 1.2 gigabytes when browsing with a few tabs open. LXQT's minimalism keeps memory usage lower, making it a good choice if you often multitask on older hardware. Office applications like LibreOffice Writer, Subuntu. Running a single office application on Subuntu typically brings the total RAM usage to around 800 megabytes to 1 gigabyte. Lubuntu. Lubuntu uses less RAM in this scenario, often only around 600 to 700 megabytes. This difference makes Lubuntu advantageous for those who rely on older systems for productivity tasks. Multitasking with a web browser with multiple tabs, an office application, and a file manager. Subuntu. When multitasking, Zubuntu tends to hover around 1.5 to 2 gigabytes of RAM usage, which is still quite manageable on systems with 4 gigabytes of RAM or more. Lubuntu Lubuntu, under similar multitasking conditions, generally uses about 1 to 1.5 gigabytes of RAM. Again, LXQT's efficiency shows through, making Lubuntu a great option if your device has limited RAM capacity. In summary, Zubuntu and Lubuntu each have strengths that make them appealing for different use cases. Zubuntu provides a well-rounded, lightweight experience that doesn't compromise much on aesthetics or usability. Its slightly higher RAM usage compared to Lubuntu is balanced by a more refined desktop experience, which makes it a good option for users with at least 2 to 4 gigabytes of RAM. Lubuntu, with its LXQT environment, is the better choice for users who prioritize maximum efficiency and need to run on very low-spec hardware. Its RAM usage is incredibly low, making it ideal for systems with 1 to 2 gigabytes of RAM, where performance and responsiveness are paramount.